So this is Oreo running on an S905X Amlogic TV box. Now, Oreo isn't widely available for these TV boxes. This firmware was built specifically for the Mini M8S2, which has an S905X processor inside it. This firmware was, was developed by Levi over on FreeTab, and this might not work for everyone. This tutorial is really aimed at those guys that really like to play around with their TV boxes and really can get their head around it. Although I've tried my best to turn this tutorial into something very easy and straightforward to follow for the majority of people, I don't re really recommend it for everyone. It's something really just for you guys at home that really do enjoy tinkering around like we do here at the MXQ project. So this is Oreo running on an M96X with an S905X processor. This firmware was never developed for this box. It runs okay, there's a few glitches here and there. I think the actual firmware is trying to detect other components that aren't present in this hardware. You know, the Mini M8S2 did have quite a lot of bells and whistles on it, Bluetooth, etc. My box doesn't have that, so I think there's a lot of conflicting things going on. But anyway, as a proof of concept, it's quite interesting to follow. So, yeah. Anyway, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to get Oreo by Levi working on your S905X Amlogic TV box. So this tutorial is going to show you guys with a Amlogic S95X device how to get Oreo running on your TV box. Now guys, Oreo is not perfect by any means. This is actual firmware produced originally for the Mini M8S2. That was a really good box and that has an S95X processor inside it. Now this firmware is produced by a developer over on FreakTab by Levi and Levi has produced this firmware specifically for that, but we can modify it just slightly to get it working on other S95X devices. Now I've got it working on my M96X that has the S95X processor inside it. It doesn't work perfectly, unfortunately, so guys, I really recommend this to only those of you who understand how to return your box to maybe stock firmware, etc. So we need a few things. The first thing I can't really help you with, you need to go out there and grab firmware specific to your box. So maybe you know where you can get the firmware for your device. So maybe the firmware is already running on it. So the chances are it'd be either Marshmallow or Nougat. You guys can probably go to China Gadgets or somewhere like that. We have actually a firmware site. We don't carry a huge amount of firmware. So you probably have to source it from somewhere else. Maybe there's some you know, community led firmware for your device. I know there was a lot of support around the Mini M8 S2. And there's a lot of firmware for that. So if you know that you can go out there and grab an image file, this needs to be an image file as well. So if you're not sure what an image file is, it's the file that we use with USB burning tool. It's not a zip file or anything else. We need the image file because we're gonna be using a tool called customization tool to unpack it and grab something called a device tree blob from that firmware. So the first part is probably gonna be the most difficult finding suitable firmware. So it'll probably be Marshmallow or Nougat. It probably should be Nougat actually because the Nougat DTB files probably will work with Oreo rather than Marshmallow. So make sure you've got Nougat firmware. I'm not entirely sure whether Marshmallow will work with Oreo, but you, you guys can give it a go anyway. So the first part of this tutorial is to grab that device tree blob. Second part is you guys need to go and grab this customization tool. The original customization tool by Amlogic won't work. It, it's a bit crap to be honest with you. This is a revamped version. I shall leave the link in the description below to the developers page on FreakTab as well as that it's downloaded through XDA. So first thing you need to do is load it in, download that, install it onto your computer. It takes two seconds to do that and you need to load it up. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to grab your firmware that you know works with your device and you need to unpack it. So just go to unpack and then select whatever firmware it is. And then you need to just click open and what it will do is it will start a little um, icon here will be swirling around and then it will take a couple of minutes to unpack it. Now once that's done, we need to go and grab that device tree blob from that firmware. Really straightforward and easy to do. Just need to go to advance go to work, open work folder just here and then you need to go to level one and here is your DGB file. So all you need to do is you need to copy that, keep it somewhere safe on your desktop or something like that. 
Now the next thing you need to do is you need to unpack Levi's Oreo. So again, you need to go to FreakTab. I Again, all these links will be in the description where you can grab Oreo from. You need to download that. You need to download the image file. I think you do need to unzip it as well. And all you need to do is you need to unpack that Oreo firmware. So unpack it. So I've got it ready here. So this is the Mini M8S Oreo by Levi. This is Oreo 8.0, 8.0 Android. And then we need to unpack that. And then we need to go again to advance. And then we need to go to open work folder. And I'm pretty sure you're following along quite quickly now. So here's the DTB file. This is the one that will not work with my M8, M, M96X, sorry. And we need to delete that. So I'll just delete this here. And we need to go and grab our device tree blob file you've just saved from your previous firmware. And you just need to drag and drop it into the right folder. There, there's my folder here. Let's drag and drop it. And then that's that pretty much done. And we can go to packaging, repack to aim out upgrade package. So you've, we can see here, I've already created two of them here. So I'll just overwrite that, it doesn't really matter. And then just replace, and it'll create the image file with that device tree blob inside it. That should, should work with your device. And once, that, once that's done, you can now proceed on to using USB burning tool. Now guys, I'm not gonna be showing you in this video how to use USB burning tool. There's a specific video we have made on how to actually use that. But if you're actually going down this route, I'm pretty confident you'll probably know how to use it anyway. But I shall leave the link in the description regardless. So thanks again for watching, guys. I really hope you, this video gets you up and running with Oreo on your Amorgic S95X device. Thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Matthew, and you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon just next to, to the subscribe button. Thanks again, guys. I wish I'll see you very soon.